Hey, hey, what's up YouTube? Eric here from Guided. I'm back out on the range today. Heading over to the backstop to put a new target out. Anyway, today I am going to be messing around with that 338 Lapua. It's a, uh, if you guys haven't seen the last video on this, uh, this, this project, it's, now it's now a project. Um, I'm going to play a little clip from the last video just so just to catch you guys up whoever for whoever didn't watch it I'll show you a picture. I'll screenshot a picture of what happened But I I was actually starting to shoot this gun last week and noticed that I had some Something was flying out of the end of the barrel. So I came around and right here on the edge blew the edge of this and I'll show you the picture. I blew the edge of this uh suppressor right out there's a big chunk missing and so basically what happened was is chucked it up got it all trued up in his cnc lathe and sure enough the threads were actually cut crooked from the factory enough wasn't a lot but it was enough that the suppressor was actually canned on the rifle i was shocked i was really shocked this is like cow shit it is all over the place Dang! I got a shot here, a shot here, and a shot here. And then the last group was those four right there after I let the barrel cool. Anyway, if you didn't happen to see that video, go check it out. Um, I'll have it linked at the end of this video so you get the backstory on it. But So I'm back out of the range. I ordered a few things for this rifle and up updated. I'm going to try... Some different things and we'll get into that in a second but just walking out to the target here gonna put a new target up and then uh we'll get this thing rolling here and i'll show you guys what i got for it what i changed what i'm gonna try so stay tuned it's gonna be a good show you guys recommended a, a lot of different things to try i mean everything and anything that you can think of comments like Check the stock, check the torque on the stock screws, check the base, change the base, try different scope, try different ammo, take the suppressor off, shoot it without the suppressor, shoot it with the suppressor, um, have a gunsmith recrown it, have a gunsmith rethread it, take it back to the gunsmith, have it blueprinted. Um, all, I mean, there's, list goes on and on. Check the, uh, check the re recoil lug in the uh in the stock i'm going to turn you guys around here and i'll show you guys everything that i changed everything that I, i'm going to try to see if we can get this thing shooting if you guys saw that last video you know that the best i could get out of this was about a four inch group so all right guys here is the rifle it's a savage 110 and a 338 lapua um with all the issues that i had i will go over everything that i changed everything that i'm trying and we'll start off with first off i pulled the barreled action out of the stock check the uh inletting on the the contact points on the bottom of the recoil lug right in there and it looked like it was having it had even contact um down inside the stock now this stock is an hs precision and it has an aluminum bedding block full length from here out to about right there um right about there where the action sits um i did double check to make sure the barrel was free floated all the way out in the stock it is so i torqued the screws down to spec i found the spec online on uh, savage's website so i torqued these screws action screws down um, I am trying a different scope this scope is a loophole vx3 tactical um it's a 4 to 14 i had this on another rifle so i didn't want to buy another scope before i figured out if it was the scope the other scope so i'm i got that on here i did change this base this base that come with this rifle was an aluminum 20 moa base that was on the rifle when i got it and it came factory like that this is a steel base all steel it is a 20 moa um base as well and this is a warren steel base there's only a few manufacturers that actually make 
uh, steel based anymore, uh, probably three or four that I could find. And I found this one at a decent price, so I picked that up. Uh, so I had to wait on that, check the stock screws, check the inletting. Um, it is free floated, uh, nothing's contacting the barrel. Um, anyway, the scope sitting in these berths. Uh, pepper rings and then here is the last thing well not the last thing here is the next thing that I switched so you guys all saw that I had a suppressor in the other video come on I am going with this easy tuner brake and for those of you who don't know anything about tuners I I heard of them, I didn't know much about them. So I did some research and I am going to try this tuner. This is a 338 Easy Tuner Brake from, I think, Eric Cortina um, down in Texas. Anyway, he's got a YouTube channel. He does a lot of shooting. He's a, he's a national champion. But regardless, this is what I'm going to try to close up. I'm going to try this support this uh, muzzle brake and see if I can close up my groups. Like I said, last, the best group I could get was about four inch group at a hundred yards, which is not good, not good for, for any gun. So I, instead of me going and just being hasty and seeing, just changing, buying a barrel for $400 and having another three or $400 into, into the chambering and threading and all that, I'm going to try this. And I think that I'm hoping that this actually does what I what I uh, I think it might do I'm going to use this cheap ammo to sight in get this scope and this gun on paper with the cheap ammo I am still staying with a this is what I was able to have a four inch group with this ammo was all over the place four inch group and I picked up just another box before I get crazy into this on 300 grain um, this cellular bellet I don't know how if that's how you say it, but I picked this up at Shields and 300 grain. I wanted to try the heaviest grain I could find, and this is what I come up with. So. I don't see it on the paper, so let me uh, play it back. All right, looks like I shot way over that, so... All right, we're on the paper. All right, guys, I'm gonna throw another one down range here. Like I said, I'm not gonna touch the scope. I'm gonna see if I can get a group. So I shot about an inch above the other one. So I'm gonna adjust the scope up to try to get it roughly right on, so. Still shot low. That one shot a little higher, so. All right, so I'm gonna turn the, the tuner brake. Got the bolt open. So I'm gonna turn this tuner brake. I'm gonna turn it to two. So I got it on two. We're gonna try that. That's actually not bad. That's that's probably about an inch group, maybe a little over an inch. So I'm gonna switch this tuner over to three or four. I'm sorry. I went to, from zero to two to four, and we're gonna see how this thing how this thing does. The main reason why I decided to go with this tuner break, if I could tighten my groups down to an inch or less, one MOA or less um, at 100 yards. I mean, that's for hunting purposes. This is a hunting gun. I have to be able to hit vitals on an antelope, a deer, an elk. So if I can get this thing down to one MOA, that's perfect for what I do. Change it to setting number four. Let's see how she shoots. Like I said, I'm going to shoot two shot groups at all these little spots. That shot way low. That one shot low too. 
All right, so got the bolt open. I am going to change this thing here to six. All right, guys, so uh, I got her switched over to six on the tuna brake. And I am going to shoot the top left spot. Gonna come down here, I got the bolt open. Gonna switch this thing to eight. I'm gonna walk down to the target, put a new target up. But I can tell you one thing, um, even with that cheap ammo, got me to an inch, maybe a little over an inch. I mean, that's that's phenomenal, guys, on cheap, just garbage ammo. So, so anyway, this is what we got. First shot, I shot over the target. Shot these two with, with the zero setting on a tuner brake, and then I adjusted my scope up to here, and then I ended up shooting these two with the tuner brake still on zero. Then I jumped over here and shot that that two shot group. Now I know this is just two shot. Then I moved it to number four, shot two shots. Like I said, my 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 scope should be should be centered at 100 yards, which according to this 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 one it was this one it wasn't. I didn't touch the scope after this. I just number two setting on a tuner brake, number four setting. I mean that's uh that's about an inch and a quarter. That's no good, that's probably about two inches. Number six setting. I shot that shot first, and then I shot those three. Because um, the when it recoiled, the gun come off the front bag and landed on the barrel. Well, rested on the barrel, so I don't know if that threw me off. So that's why I shot two more down here, and it got me that. So two, four, six, and then this was number eight. So that's... That's, I don't know, from center to center, it's probably inch and, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. So that's probably what that is. Um, but I'd say number two setting is probably the best so far. Pretty close to number eight setting. Anyway, I'm going to try, I'm going to put a new target up here. I'm going to try this uh, other ammo. All right, got the new target up. I am going to head back to the bench. Like I said, I think this, uh, this tuner break might be a ticket. I'm optimistic on this thing. It definitely has the groups way tighter than the last time. So I think with this other brand ammo, Hornaday specifically, and I did some research on this other ammo that I tr I'm trying, and I just picked it up because it was a 300 grain bullet and it had it in stock. So there's not a lot of not a lot of places around that has 338 Lapua in stock. So I just figured it pick it up because I saw it and try it and if it shoots good I'll pick up I'll order some more so like I said I'm optimistic on this tuna break I think it's definitely helped with that junk ammo getting me close so let's see what it does with this other ammo I'm going to change this to 10 back to zero I mean so we'll start there you can see you can see I'm going in with it taking this this outer nut here it's got the, the marks on it and I'm going in towards the brake and you can see this is the internal part of the brake that this is threaded on so we'll start there and then I'll work my way back out with this ammo like I said this is the ammo I'm gonna try I got 10 shots I'm gonna turn this tuner brake Back to eight. So that was on eight. Now I'm going to go to six. So we are going to go to 
number four. So I'm walking up to the target. I think the the tuner brake definitely definitely has helped. I switched over to that Hornet ammo and it's seller belay. The 300 grain ammo actually shot better. So I would definitely say that the uh, the tuner brake is working. It's got me from a four inch group down to about one and a quarter inch group. But that was with the other ammo and I haven't really found Hornet A setting yet. So I got a lot of comments on my last video about this rifle about contacting Savage and so I wanted to let you guys know I I did contact them and I am probably going to send the gun back to them um, to have them look over it. Now they did say because I'm not the original owner um, it might not be covered under warranty but if there's a manufacturer defect they will cover it. So. They will let me know how they're going to proceed after they get the rifle and inspect it and shoot it and see what they find out on it. I explain to them everything that happened. I bought it used. They're going to let me know if it does need a new barrel and if it's not covered under warranty or if it is covered under warranty. So anyway, so at least I got a lead here with this Hornaday ammo. I haven't had uh, I haven't had any really tight groups with it. So it's I mean. Don't get me wrong, it's tighter than it was. Um, it's not a four inch group, but it's not a one inch group either. So, if nothing else, I'll get this thing sent out, and this will be like an ongoing project video series on this 338 Lapua. So, anyway, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys like this content. My name is Eric, I'm a hunting guide here in Northeast Wyoming. Um, if you guys like this type of content, um, Hit that like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. We'll see you on next week's episode.